My name is Karen Bennett, and I'm a registered nurse that works at Chilliwack Maternity. So I'm gonna start with breastfeeding. This is a big part of the postpartum period and beyond. So why breastfeed? Well, one thing, breast milk is made especially for your baby. It's rich in antibodies, amino acids, vitamins and minerals, growth hormones, enzymes, proteins, and much, much more. It lowers the risk of disease for both mom and baby, decreases the chance of allergies, and reduces the chance of SIDS. It also promotes bonding, it's convenient, and is good for the environment. You have no bottles, no waste, no plastic in the landfills. It also saves money. Have you seen the cost of formula? The convenience is amazing. You wake up, middle of the night, pop your baby on, and there's nice warm breast milk right ready for them. There's lots of resources in the community. Our public health unit um, has lactation consultants, uh, breastfeeding clinics, all there to help you. Healthy Families BC is a website that I found with excellent resources with many videos, and we will reference those in my talk today. So right after delivery, your baby is put skin to skin with you. Ideally, we would like to, the baby to remain skin, with, skin to skin with you until it has its first feed. It helps stabilize your baby's breathing, temperature, heart rate, blood pressure. It also promotes bonding and is a source of comfort for your newborn and promotes breastfeeding. So you'll see a link below, just have a click on it and it talks to, about skin to skin. So you'll notice in the first few days of life, your baby is going to want to sleep a lot. Make sure you're looking for hunger cues. If you notice that your baby is lip smacking, rooting, um, sucking on its hands, that's an indication that your baby's hungry. Crying is a late sign of hunger and can make it more difficult for you to latch your baby. You'll have to soothe your baby before you try and latch. Again, there's another video through Healthy Families BC that talks about hunger cues and shows you exactly what they look like. So the first obstacle you're gonna come across is latching your baby properly. It's so important that you latch your baby properly because it helps prevent um, breakdown of your nipples, mastitis, engorgement, and helps make sure that your baby is getting enough to eat. There's several different positions you can use to breastfeed your baby, and you're gonna figure out what works best for you. Um, you may find that your baby breastfeeds on the left side in cradle hold, but on the right side in football hold. There's also a cross cradle hold and a side lying, but I'm not going to lay on the floor and show you that. You can see that in one of the upcoming videos. It's extremely important that you get a deep latch when you're latching your baby. You need to make sure that you have, your baby has a wide open mouth. Make sure the baby doesn't close its mouth even slightly while trying to latch because it could end up on the end of your nipple. A latch on the end of your nipple is going to break down your nipple, cause blistering, bleeding, and pain. And it's gonna discourage you from continuing to breastfeed. So make sure your baby has a wide mouth um, and be quick. Bam, get that baby on there before it closes its mouth. You wanna get the nipple to the back part of their mouth to the soft palate. You should see the majority of your areola in its mouth at the time. If your baby starts sucking and it hurts and it's pinching for more than a couple of seconds, take your baby off the nipple uh, by putting your finger between its mouth and your breast to break the latch. Then try again. Do not let your baby continue to suck. If you do, you're going to end up with a lot of pain, a lot of breakdown, and discourage yourself from feeding. So when you look at the latch, once the baby is latched onto the breast, as I said, the majority of your areola should be in its mouth. The bottom lip should be flanged out, and you should see the jaw movement on the side of the baby's cheek. And you'll also hear what we call a ka sound when they swallow the milk. When you take the baby off the breast, your nipple should be rounded, not pinched. If it's pinched, then it's not a good latch. So see the link below from Healthy Families BC. It's an excellent video on how to latch your baby and what a good latch looks like. Your latch should feel comfortable after a couple of sucks. 
If it pinches for a couple of sucks and then resolves and it just feels like strong tugs with no pain, you've got a good latch. You also can tell if baby's getting enough is, do they look dehydrated? Does the fontanelle on the top of their head, is it really sunken in? Are their lips and their mouth moist? That's another way you can tell the baby's getting enough. Now you have the latch mastered. Your baby is breastfeeding well, that's awesome. But how do you know if your baby's getting enough to eat? You know, when you have a, a bottle, you can measure the amount that the baby's taking, but you can't measure the amount that's coming out of your breast. So some of the ways that we determine whether your baby is getting enough to eat is how many wet diapers it has each day. So it should have five to six heavy wet diapers a day, and it should have um, two toony sized poops, usually yellow in color. So your baby should be feeding eight to 10 times in a 24 hour period. That's once your milk comes in for 20 to 30 minutes at a feed. Your milk should come in about day three, four. Your baby should be gaining weight, look pink in color, satisfied, and your breast should be empty at the end of a feed. Make sure when you're feeding your baby that you feed on one side for 20 to 30 minutes and then burp, change, try the other side for 20 to 30 minutes. If you feed 10 minutes and 10 minutes, your baby isn't getting that hind milk and that hind milk is full of, full of fat and nutrients that they need. Our milk supply is kind of like skim milk, 1%, 2%, homo. And you want that baby to get the homo milk at the end.